yeah, language very integral to integral, integral to who we are. Especially um, as it says over there on the on Janice's uh, informational booth over there. Especially as Indigenous peoples, you know, um, so important for our, for our identity as people who are in danger of losing our language. Um, yeah, we shouldn't let that be compromised. You know, you see. You see the words on t-shirts, if you go to Okinawa, you got those buzzwords here and there, which is a good first step, right? That's definitely an important thing um, to get it into people's eyes and, and their minds. Um, but, you know, we want to try to take it a step further than that, right? We don't want it just to be a gimmick, uh, just using Uchinaguchi as, uh, as, as almost a joke sometimes, because yeah? otherwise other people will think of it as that. So in that same same train of thought, you know, we also want to be very respectful to um, other people, other peoples that are that are in danger of losing their own languages. Of course, uh, here in Hawaii, uh, the Kanaka Maoli are also have um, they're also fighting, struggling to to preserve their language, bring it back. Um, so you know, we really want to want to uh, be mindful if if we're going to throw in a word, you know, Uchinansho Aloha. You know, we really, really want to if we're going to borrow a word from them, we, as an organization, you know, we should try to do things to give back to the community as well. Um, or else, yeah, it just seems like we're entitling ourselves to just, to just um, use their language as well, you know? Because we, you know, I wouldn't want to see people using Okinawan language, just, you know, they weren't, they're not Okinawan, but they're just, they're just trying to, uh, you know, be cool and, or, or cute with an with Okinawan word here and there. You know, a lot of people might not like thinking about it that way because you get into ideas of, you know, politics and, you know, it's too political and everything. But the funny thing is, you know, whether or not you thought about it before is that language is very political, you know. Um, choosing to use Okinawan words, even calling yourselves Uchinansu is a political statement. My, I have friends in Okinawa who have told me this, you know, because you're, you're, you're really drawing the line, you're separating yourselves from Japan and from Japanese, which you know, to be honest, the Japanese government would rather us not exist as a separate people. Uh, you know, throughout history, they've tried to erase our language, our culture, uh, even our history, where, you know, they're, they're trying to take out things, things that have happened to the Ryukyu Kingdom, take it out of the history books. So, um, yeah, language is, is political. Um, and actually brings me to another song that I need, I need something from my bag. Hold on. You know, I like to think of all of my songs as um, political statements, no matter what the topic is. And um, this, so this next song, an original one that, um, again, if, if you looked at Janice's booth there, she has a, all about the language here, history of the language. And then in the front there, she talks about the water crisis, yeah, um, because it applies not only to Hawaii, but also in Okinawa. They can't, um, in many parts of the island, they cannot drink the water from the, the faucets because it's contaminated with forever chemicals. You know, the, the same people responsible for our water crisis here are responsible for the water crisis in Okinawa. So this song came, came about as a, as a reaction to what's happening here um, at Kapu Kaki. Um, also known as Red Hill, but um, it also yeah can very well apply to Okinawa and anywhere else where they're they're facing um, those dangers from you know from militarization and contamination of the environment. So this song is called Miji. Miji means water. Um, there's a proverb in here that I inserted in the chorus. You'll hear it. It says, "Miji uh, arate numanang." Again, "Miji arate numanang." And what that Kind of is interpreted as as, as um, you know, once water is tainted, once water is contaminated, you can't. It can never be restored to its its original pure form. Um, and you know, not only talking about water, but also you know, talking about people, right? Once once you break somebody's trust, you can apologize all you want. You can do things to make it better. They might forgive you. They might forget about it. But you know, it's never going to be fully fully repaired. Okay, so here's Miji. Yeah, yeah, 
味らしけさそう。Yeah, yeah, いけさげさそう。自安自ごと市民でいたちは楽しみ。あちらしけさそう。ええひゃ、いけさげさそう。わたしまま無とんでいなちわたしまくるちょん。このじやはフォローアランクルじゃなやのそだよ。So at the end, I'm trying to say, yeah, water is life. So. Okay. All right. So back to、um, the idea of taking more traditional, traditional songs. Here's one that hopefully a lot of you have heard before, and if not,、um, it, I think it's a, the melody is is really familiar, even if maybe you haven't. If you haven't heard it before, a song called "Tin Sago no Hana," and the song talks about、um, taking to heart the teachings of your parents and your elders. So it,、um, the melody just sounds like "Tin Sago no Hana ya chimi sachi ni somi ti oya no yoshi go to ya." Yeah, so、um, anybody heard that melody before? <laughs> so again, yeah,、um, it's it's one of those songs that it just sounds I don't know it has a familiar familiarity to it I I think anyway.、Um, but there's another example of a ryuka where you have the four lines and you can you can really um, um, kind of easily fit it into chord progressions that sound. Again, more familiar, like maybe something like this. Something like Tinsa, Tinsa, Kuno, Hanaya, Chinisa, Chiri, So, Miti, Uya, no, Yoshi, Oto, Chimoni, So, Miti, yeah. Or here's maybe, maybe you, um. Hopefully, some of you recognize this、uh, this chord progression. But then, 
the original melody also works well over that. So if you don't know, this is uh, this is "Don't Know Why" by Nora Jones. Um, <laughs> Another just just um, so again the, the talk was about Uchinaguchi and the the language of music, right? So of course the focus is our Okinawan, our indigenous Okinawan language, but um, you know because music is is such a universal experience. I was taught rather than saying universal language is better to say universal experience. Uh, you know we can we can uh, yeah we can play around with with the words and and the ideas. And come up with stuff that, well, maybe new stuff, but also trying to stay rooted in tradition somehow, right? Okay. All right. So I'll do one more show for you folks. And um, if you caught us on the main stage, we ended with this song, a song called Achamegua. And um, it's mo this one is actually mostly in English, but it talks about the, the idea of Achame, which some people call Kachashi. And Kachashi is actually the music that accompanies Achame. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, you right now? <laughs> oh. It's back. All right, so we're going to have Derek Fujio joining us behind me. Round of applause. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah. The idea behind this song is is that a lot of Okinawan events, Okinawan parties at the end, they finish with kachashi on the sanshin and then achame is the dancing. So any, anybody want to demonstrate what achame looks like? And um, those of you, those of you leaving right now, huh? those of you leaving. This is this song is about the people that get up and leave when it's time to dance because they don't like that. <laughs> oh, but. Yeah, so, so some some keywords from this song, um, you're gonna hear like, uh, oh, actually. So to demonstrate, if you're not familiar, Kachashi sounds the song with that's that's what that's what kachashi that's an example of kachashi um, so at the end you hear, you hear me say so i'm gonna i have that i have that in in my song here a uh, very different feel to it uh, other words you're gonna hear is ichari de. anybody can tell us what ichari de. what does that mean ichari de. so this is um this is an okinawan uh idea I'm calling it a proverb, meaning that once once we meet, we are like family, or we're like brothers and sisters. Um, yeah. yep, yep. Okay. One more word that you might hear is the word shimanchu. I threw that in there because shimanchu, in the traditional sense, there's an explanation of shimanchu on the wall over there. In tra traditionally, shimanchu would refer to someone from the same village, the same ancestral village, village as you. So, um, you know, my idea is thinking of being at, at the New Year's party for my own club, my family's club. Those people are all my Shimanchu because we all share roots in the same village. So you hear me saying like, uh, all the Shimanchu should, should know what to do. Yeah, and that's, that's the dancing game. So yeah, so thank you all for staying and listening to the end. This is Achame Wa. And then maybe after we'll do actual Achame. Yeah? There's a party about to begin Can you feel it? Somebody starts to play the sound sheet Can you hear it? There it is yeah. We got food We got friends We got family Like each other but your day When it comes to the end You better not go home yet But let's not forget you got to move Side to side. 
don't matter the occasion that we feel as long as the music, music plays on and on When it starts, get out of your chair Your body feels that rhythm and your hands go up in the air All you see in my truth, you should know what to do Saying that you don't know how Only if you learn You can learn right here and now Soon you find yourself Grooving along with the beat Here's a test for you guys A pop quiz And you can stop the feeling So let me hear you Hey, she Here it is Tomorrow again, three o'clock. You want to hear the same thing one more time?